If you spend as much time gazing at airplanes as we do, you'll have noticed some jets have quirky differences that need some explanation. The A340's middle landing gear, the flat bottoms of the 737's engines, and the Zorro-like mask of the Airbus A350. But it's not just passenger planes that can have these odd little features, cargo planes do too. In fact, the A330-200F has a rather unusual feature, a blister-like lump just forward of the nose gear. Why is this? This strange lump is one of the more noticeable design features of the Airbus A330 freighter. It's almost like a blister, and an ugly one at that. It's clearly not a design aesthetic, so it must serve an important purpose. To discover the reason for this unusual design, it's important to note that the A330-200F came sometime after the passenger variant was launched. It was never designed from the ground up to be a cargo plane, and thus required some modifications to make it suitable for the role. The A330-200 entered into service with Korean Air in 1998, four years after its larger brother, the A330-300, began flying commercially. It was more than 10 years later that the A330-200F took its first flight, ahead of entry into service in 2010. Changing the role of an aircraft from passenger to freighter is not always as straightforward as it might seem. While we've seen numerous passenger planes adapted for freight in the past 12 months, to build a plane that's specifically to be sold as a freighter requires a good deal more thought. Airbus discovered just how challenging this was when it was working on the A330-200F. The nose-down pitch of the A330 family, something it shares with the A340, meant it was impossible to achieve a level cabin floor, something that was essential if it was to fulfill its role as, quote, the right aircraft right now. To overcome this issue, Airbus was forced to redesign the landing gear for the freighter variant. Flight Global notes that the manufacturer studied several options for this fix, including adding a longer nose gear leg that articulated to fit into the existing bay profile. However, this would have affected the commonality with the passenger fleet, something that has long been a key selling point for Airbus. In the end, the plane maker settled on lowering the leg attachment points to raise the nose slightly when the aircraft was parked. This modification required a larger gear bay to house the nose gear, which required some additional housing and hence the bulge. The nose gear therefore protrudes in its blister-like fairing and gives the A330-200F its unique and unusual appearance. Did you know about this little quirk before watching this video? Let us know in the comments. Did you know that we publish over 175 stories every single week on simpleflying.com? Be sure to check the link in the description for more great stories just like this. Thanks for watching, and be sure to like and subscribe before you go.